Yo, King AK 47 Voice of the Street. Shout out to the game, man. Y'all make sure y'all hit that like button, man. Uh, let me give you some time to do that. I appreciate it, man. Subscribe to the channel if you ain't subscribed. Share this video. I'm a little hungover a little bit after last night live, but I'll be all right. Um, hectic, man. So, you know my DMs shit been blowing up about this Chief Keith, Muwap, e dog all this, right? <clears throat> it's two versions of stories that I'm hearing. Now, the first version of, of what happened is coming from a security guard who claims he got fired. He's alleging that somehow, some way, the police that was there heard get his chain. We gonna take his chain from a group that Moo Wapanum was in. And they intervened before it could actually happen. This is according to the security guard that was there. Um, it was a planning of a taking of a chain. And uh The police basically heard it. It stopped it before it happened. Now, there's another story that Muwap and don't try to approach Sosa just to talk to him. And what Sosa did was he moved and walked to where the police was at. Um... And and basically, you know, the police intervened. Uh, from that story, I was told it wasn't really going to be no jumping, none of that, no chain snatching, none of that. Now, do I know what happened? Hell no. But those are the two versions of events that I'm getting. Um, one already publicly, and then that one, you know, I had to really sit back and... Uh, hit some people up and stuff and people was hitting me up about that version of the story. Regardless of the version of the story, um, if I was Chief Keith, this will further let me know why he moved how he moved. Um, we all know the boss topic Chief Keith situation. Before that, everything was good. Now, if you know, you know, it ain't really nothing of the age range over boss top over there. Um, Big A was one of them And as you see Like sick go The video you see Big A in there And Big A was getting sent out Because Big A was one of them type of guys To where he ain't really care what was going on That was still considered his brother And he wasn't taking no sides Because for one he didn't have to And for two Nobody could really tell Big A nothing But Big A passed away So out the age group Really ain't nothing over boss top there so we all know that situation happened um if i was sosa i wouldn't mess with him neither because if nothing really over there over boss top well why am i messing with any of you niggas anyway you feel me period if you know ain't nobody really over that nigga and he was the real problem you feel what i'm saying which then led to him just neglecting old block, which led to videos being made. Man, Sosa don't do nothing for the hood. Sosa this, Sosa that. But uh, what they wasn't realizing is Sosa did everything uh, before there was a King Von, before there was a Muwap, before there was anything. He put old block on the map. Uh, old block, bang, bang, 300, all that. Like DJ Victorious saying in the background, shout out to old block in the video, all that work. And from Sosa, there's hoods that wasn't named Old Block all around the country that start naming themselves so Old Block. It's ungrateful to me, and this should further, regardless what happened, this should further, this should further just stamp Keith's decision on what he made, man. And this should further let y'all know how a petty situation could could grow. This is what goes on. This is this is exactly how a lot of these beats happen. It start with 
one petty situation, and then it escalated to the point of no return. Uh, I could go a little deeper on this, but I don't want to. I just feel like y'all leave him alone. Like, he did enough for y'all. Uh, okay. He did enough for y'all. He put y'all on the map before y'all was anybody. You know what I mean? He did what he needed to do. All right, hold on. He did what he needed to do. You see what I'm saying? Like, he put y'all on the map. Like, it's seeming ungrateful to me. Like, it wouldn't be no old block boss T. It wouldn't be no old block King Vine. It wouldn't be no uh, uh, anybody, really, if it wasn't for Sosa. Y'all can say whatever y'all want. Like, Sosa put them on the map to be who they are to the world. Now, in the rap, that's a different story. But to the world, it's Sosa. So, he even propelled Lil Dirk's career. Like, people don't really give him his credit, man. And, and now the dude got to go through th stuff like this. Dealing with his old homies, man. You feel what I'm trying to say? And from what I'm hearing, Chief Keith felt the way. Y'all could put it together. Chief Keith felt the way that somebody was coming there for dirt. Because this somebody wasn't around dirt, in his opinion. And now out the blue, when dirt do roll it loud, now this somebody just going to be there. And if y'all don't know who that somebody is, that somebody is the person that they're accusing right now of trying to take the chain. And that went live. You feel what I'm saying? He just felt like, why now? You feel me? Right before roll it loud, why now? Like, it was announced that I'm going to be there. It was announced Dirk going to be there. Like, why now is this nigga coming with you? You feel me? You had way time. Von Ben died. Uh, buddy was on 100K track. You know what I mean? And then out of the blue, he got so, from what I was told, she keep already went with, like, precaution. But I don't know what happened, y'all. I don't know the story. That's just the two versions of stories that's, that's, that's going around. The first version... The security guard claims that somebody out the group that Move Up and them was in was mean, was heard by the police saying we gonna take his chain or whatever. And the police asked them, "Well, what you doing here, whoop de whoop?" That's all out his mouth. Uh, the second story I heard was they, you know, was walking up to Chief Keith and Chief Keith walked towards the police, which made them say he's a police ass nigga because you basically put the police. In this shit, we wasn't even gonna do nothing to you. Is even one truth? They might be both cap. Who knows, man? All I know is some shit going on. Moo Wop and them was dissing so to Glow Gang. They was talking to uh, Chop on the live, and it's just it just make it just look bad, man. But hell, who am I, man? King AK47, voice of the streets, man. Y'all make sure y'all hit that like button. Uh, we will be going live. About this and other things. About the Tory Lanez. Ain't it crazy, y'all, how I just bought up Tory Lanez and Megan Thee Stallion yesterday? Then here we go. Next day, Tory Lanez might be going to jail for violating restraining order. Like, it, it, it's time over time we bring stuff up on this channel, man. And then the very next day, if not the day after that, it's a story about it. So, we're going to cover that and other things, man. So, y'all make sure y'all subscribe to the channel. If y'all ain't subscribed, tune into that live stream in a couple hours. We ain't going to do it late this time. It's probably going to be around 9, 10, 11. So uh, hit that like button if you ain't hit the like button yet. I want to hear y'all opinions on this situation in the comment section, man. And I'll see y'all in a minute. King AK47, Voice of the Streets. Make sure you hit that like button.